what is up guys and for the same man youtube channel in today's video we're going to look at every superstar and x factor ability in madden 21 and which players will have them at the launch of the game but before we do that please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch me play Madden Live, you guys can find me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Madden. The link is below in the description, as is a link to my ebook bundle. If you guys are looking for a way to finish Madden 20 strong, maybe think about a few things you haven't thought about in Madden 20 as you prep for 21, take a look at my PayHip account. You can get my full Washington offensive game plan as well as my 3-4 Bear comprehensive defense that I've spent over 35,000 snaps in this year. Go ahead and turn your game around heading into Madden 20. Okay, guys, before we get into a video, I want to give a big shout out to MaddenSchool.com. Um, I actually don't work at this website, but they've done a phenomenal job organizing this into a very readable file uh, that you can click around. The link is below in the description as well to their website. I always want to make sure that if I use some sites content or a page uh, that I give the props where due. Uh, great job to you guys. This is phenomenal information. Thank you so much for doing this for the community. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about it. what everyone wants to, to hear. Every superstar and X-Factor ability in Madden 21 and which players have them. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. They've got a nice little table of contents. Let's go straight to the quarterbacks. Uh, as always, we've got uh, Pro Reads, which is the Tom Brady ability that we saw last year. Basically highlights open receivers. Not a whole lot to talk about there. Bazooka, which is going to add 15 yards uh, to your max throw power. Mahomes is the only player who has that in regs. Gambler, which basically means that you can't be uh, intercepted by AI defenders. Uh, you could still click on and intercept a gambler. Nobody really uses this. Uh, there is a new one this year called Truz. This is going to be given to Lamar Jackson uh, as respect to his season that he had last year in 2019. Um, so basically what this is, is that the most effective ball carriers prioritize maintaining possession over all else. When they enter this zone, no tackles that will be made against them will result in a fumble. So basically, if you get Lamar Jackson in the zone, quarterback runs and scrambles, he will not fumble. Um, so that's that's really, really important uh, to try to make sure that you don't have that activated on you because uh, right now we don't know the condition that knocks them out of the zone with this ability. Uh, so definitely be aware when this is lit up against you, especially earlier in the year. Uh, if you're thinking about the Madden Classic, I'm sure the Ravens with their defense is going to be a popular team, especially with Lamar Jackson. Uh, moving on, we got Blitz Radar. Uh, that's basically the ability that highlights extra blitzers. Um, and those blitzers actually can be bluff blitz to kind of mess with the quarterback uh, when the ball snapped. Uh, so there is kind of a way to counteract that. Bluff blitzing will make the Blitz Radar activate, um, or it'll show that player as uh, you know somebody that could be blitzing. Not really an ability we dealt with on a competitive level in Madden 20, so not something I'm thinking is going to be popular in 21, but uh, you know, the, the meta remains to be seen. Let's get into the abilities. The abilities to me are more important. Um, you know, these are, these are the things that are active every play, not just the things you have to activate by reaching a, a threshold. Um, this is a big one. This is one I personally called for on Twitter all year long. I used a lot of pocket passers fearless. Uh, this was an X factor, formerly an ability that um, a superstar X factor, um, ability that when you were in the zone, you were impervious to pressure, meaning that, uh, you know, fear monger and just pressure in general did not apply to your quarterback when in the zone. Uh, with all the quick pass and the pressure and accuracy this year, I was very, very vocal that fearless needed to be swapped to the superstar tier. Give us the ability to be impervious to pressure with pocket quarterbacks. We're already taking a risk by not being able to move the pocket in a game that's always been dominated by scrambling quarterbacks. Uh, give us something to entice us to use pocket quarterbacks. So great job to EA. They listen. Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Matt Ryan, and obviously your favorite Muck quarterback from a field general standpoint uh, is going to be able to get this fearless. Uh, and just as it reads, immune to throw penalties caused by uh, defensive pressure when their feet are set. If your feet aren't set, you're basically going to get, you know, an off balance or an on the run inaccurate in the pocket anyway. So really that's on you to make sure your feet are set. High route master, you guys know the deal. Uh, one of my favorite abilities in the game has been all year. Um, you know, get extra hot routes, four extra hot routes for every position on the field that can catch the football. Tom Brady's the only player that has this ability. I would actually really like to see this ability, um, you know, given to more quarterbacks. I want to see this on Drew Brees. I want to see this on, you know, if Aaron Rodgers is not an escape artist, give him hot route master. Um, I want to see more quarterbacks with this ability. 
Um, without this ability in regs, you basically entice us to use scrambling quarterbacks or Tom Brady. There's really no incentive to use a Drew Brees, uh, in my opinion, you know, at least thinking back to Madden 20, there's no incentive to use a Drew Brees because he doesn't get all those extra abilities. Now, of course, he's got guys like Michael Thomas that get the apprentice abilities, but that's just one spot or Camara that gets, you know, extra routes to his spot. But that's just one or two spots uh, out of five. Drew Brees has had the longevity in the league. Uh, Aaron Rodgers has had longevity in the league where they deserve these types of abilities to entice us to use those reg uh, regular teams. Uh, you know, in my, these are things you're going to be able to slap on your quarterback at, at some point. It won't matter. But definitely for those regs guys, I feel for them in this regard because there are plenty of those guys out there that love to play regs. And, you know, you got to give us the variety. The quarterback position, in my opinion, is the most important position on the field uh, to dictate whether or not a team is usable. I mean, think about it. Think about the Ravens and the Chiefs and regs this past season. Um, you, you think about Brady with the Patriots. Teams would actually use, you know, the pocket passers would use uh, the Patriots. Uh, you think about... Um, the one example that really bucks the trend is the Niners. They had such a strong defense and a strong run game that people didn't worry about the quarterback. They actually had extra hot routes on uh, the tight end, Kittle. But, you know, the, the Niners are the one example where the quarterback didn't factor in, but that's really not the case for most teams in regs. Next ability, set feet lead. Uh, passers with this ability have an increased throw power. Uh, this is a different thing this year. Uh, so the lead abilities are a little bit misleading. Uh, they don't actually put the ball in a weird spot. They just get the ball from A to B more quickly and with pinpoint accuracy. So the ball's going to be in a spot where the receiver can catch it and it's going to get there very, very fast. Very, very fast. So uh, Tom Brady has this has this lead ability. Set your feet. If your feet are set, it's basically going to work like Gunslinger. Conductor. We all know what this is. It's the ability to make hot route adjustments uh, twice as fast. Um, nothing to really talk about there. Escape artist. This is the one everyone looks at. You guys know what it is faster escape animations faster running behind the line of scrimmage uh Kyler Murray Murray Mahomes Lamar Deshaun Russell Wilson so basically what we ended Madden 20 with is what have escape artists to open up uh 21 quick draw uh passers with this ability have faster throwing animations under pressure this is going to really work in EA's concerted effort to add uh these under pressure throwing animations to the game uh guys who get this ability Kyler Murray, Carson Wentz, Lamar Jackson. So if you can't tell right now, the cover athlete Lamar, he's going to be a problem. Uh, can't really blitz him because he can get the ball out with a quick draw. He's got the escape artist. Uh, he's got the Trazabil, uh X factor where he's not going to be able to fumble. Lamar is definitely getting his due right now, uh, at least early on in this review. Dashing Deadeye. We got uh, passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on all throws under 40 yards while running outside of the pocket, except on high and low throws. So we know the deal. No left bumper. Uh, no left trigger throws. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. Again, uh, dashing dead eyes cool and all, but I would like to see Aaron Rodgers either give him the high route master or give him the escape artist. Make him make him a great pocket quarterback or make him a great mobile quarterback. Right now, I just don't feel like, I guess we'll see when 21 comes out, how the, the non-escape artist quarterbacks feel. Are they still, you know, stuck in the mud or, you know, um, are they somewhat mobile uh, without the escape artist? That's going to be the important tell. Red zone dead eye. Um, to me, it really, it's a no go. Uh, you know, for me, red zone dead eye. You should make the exception for high and low throws. I think that that's an ability. You know, in the red zone, you got to be able to put the ball on the spot, whether it's high or low. Um, if you have red zone dead eye, you should let us low ball and high ball in the end zone with with good accuracy. Um, that that would really open up the red zone game. One of the really tough areas to score over the last uh, you know two or three years, I would say. The last time it was easy to score was when we when we could actually high ball. And get the spec animations i would like to see a stack of a red zone dead eye plus a red zone threat you know if i have red zone dead eye and i can throw a high point one-on-one -on -one to a randy moss or somebody that has red zone uh threat that stack should be six points if you're not you know covering those guys uh with with the right coverage uh you know you get the one-on-one -on -one with the height matchup and you know the catching ratings and the route running ratings and all that that should be six points uh if you afford that stack because it only applies to 20 yards of the field, it, well, 30 really. It doesn't really apply to the other 80 yards of the, the field if you if you think about it. So, um, you know, I, I would love to see uh, Red Zone Deadeye um, give you those high and low throws as well. No Luck Deadeye, this is basically your crossbody uh, inaccurate or crossbody accurate ability, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, comeback, this one says, passers with this ability have extended range on all unpressured 
precision passing from the pocket except for high and low throws. Um, so this basically means that you get extra lead, I, I guess. Come back, is this a pass lead ability? Extended range on unpressured precision passing from the pocket, except for high and low throws. So if you're in the pocket, you're going to be able to make this throw. Uh, you're going to get extra pass lead to put the ball in a, a spot that your receiver can catch it is the way I'm reading that. Anchored extender, we know about this. Uh, this is Dak Prescott ability. Guar almost guaranteed to break the first sack attempt by a defensive back. This is going to help uh, combat those uh, nickel blitz and dime blitz metas where you stack those guys on the edge, bring them off, bring the free pressure. Uh, some good players out there this year use the anchored and agile extender to break those sacks by the DBs and really open up their spread offense. It was a uh, brilliant use of that ability. I don't think enough players used it, but the necessity for dashing dead eye and escape artist and hot rod master, those are three slots that you really have to have. So anchored extender really was not an option for a lot of players, but uh, a good ability nonetheless. Gutsy scrambler, that's your uh, equivalent to fearless, you know, impervious to pressure outside the pocket. Uh, sideline dead eye. Um, again, you're going to have good, really good accuracy on throws outside the numbers. So that's going to be your, your corners, your outs, your, you know, any route breaking towards the sideline outside the numbers. No left bumper, right bumper, high point, low point. Slide of hand. Uh, better chance on pump fakes and double moves. This was a bugged ability in Madden 20. I'm really interested to see how they brought it back in 21. In Madden 20, if you pump faked at the start of the year with Ben Roethlisberger, who had that ability, Defensive backs in, in deep zones would bite nearly every time and you could throw a lob to somebody. Um, so it was really, really overpowered. I think EA nerfed that ability to start the year in Madden 20 and uh, it never really got off the ground. So uh, really, really, really tough. Um, roaming Deadeye. Um, this is, you know, what you guys saw in 20. Passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on unpressured throw while their feet are set outside the pocket. That's the big difference, right? Roaming Deadeye. Players this year would let off the sprint button to no longer trigger the on the run animation. And that allowed them to make any and all throws, even if it felt like they were making cross body throws. I'm curious to see if EA tweaked this to the point where your feet actually have to be set for you to get the uh, guaranteed pass accuracy. Um, that would be a big thing because a lot of players basically mastered roaming dead eye early in the year to be a combination of no look dead eye and dashing dead eye at the same time. Um, and that allowed them to really make every throw, um, regardless of whether or not their quarterback was squared up to the passing target or not. Um, so that's going to be a big one to see if they changed it. Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson on this one. Gunslinger, the players with this ability have faster passing animations and increased velocity on bullet passes. So I think where this one differs from the, the, the lead abilities that we talked about, we talked about the set feet lead ability, uh, giving you increased, uh, increased velocity there's no mention of increased throwing animation speed. So with Gunslinger, I think you're going to get the A to B, the velocity of the ball is going to be a lot faster. And then the actual animation is going to be a lot faster as well. So, um, you know, there's not necessarily um, no reason to use Gunslinger. It's just if you want that throwing animation to be considerably faster, Gunslinger is something to consider. Um, another thing that should be in your mind as you look at this ability in Madden 21 is whether or not the trajectory of the gunslinger is throwing those balls low and into the back of your lineman's heads. Uh, that was a big time pain point for players uh, over the last couple of years, uh, especially with some of the shorter quarterbacks in the game. Fast break, we know about this one. Passers with this ability immediately respond to user input on design quarterback run plays. This was what led to the quarterback blast meta. You'd run a blast to the right, but because you're using fast break, you could actually run it left and everyone in the defense would run fit right and you would be shooting out to the left away from the run fit, but, and you would get kind of a, a leverage or an advantage on the defense before they knew that you had cut the run back. Um, to me, that ability was really broken in Madden 20. I'm curious to see any tweaks they've made in 21. Tight out abilities with this ability improve the catching prowess, prowess of their tight ends who are open on pass plays. This is an ability I could see myself using. This is um, basically what gift wrapped was, um, hopefully buffed, um, or tight ends. So for me, I, I ran that single back wing tie you offense. Again, you guys can uh, get that offense uh, at my pay hip account. The link is below. Um, you know, I use three tight ends. So having that tight out ability is something that might be considered. Um, you know, it's gonna be nice to see if I, uh, you know, slap that ability and run some some three tight end personnel. That'd be pretty awesome. Lofting dead eye. Uh, you know, this is the the trajectory in between bullet and, and, and lob. Um, so lofting or touch pass. Um, you know, this is going to be Drew, Drew Brees. I don't see anybody using this. Everybody wants to get the ball as fast as they can. Bullet passes to A and B. 
uh, from A to B as fast as possible. Indoor baller, uh, that's basically, you know, it allows you to get your X factor more quickly uh, when you are um, playing in a, in a dome. So a guy like Drew Brees, for instance, Safety valve, uh, it's basically improved catching for running backs who are open. So, um, you know, if the running back's open, you should catch it anyways. But as we found last year with the gift draft, open has some interpret open is open for ter interpretation, I guess is what I'm saying. So when you think about how, uh, you know, you get, uh, you know, a guy that might have position, is that open? Um, versus is a guy five yards open? Why do I need a catch ability on somebody if they're five yards open, right? So that's kind of something to consider. Uh, the next ability, clutch. Midway through the fourth quarter in close games, players can easily enter and remain in the zone. So Tom Brady, Russell Wilson. I don't think I knew a competitive player that used clutch this year. Um, you know, if you're using bazooka, is it really worth using one of your passive abilities to get the extra 15 yards in, in the clutch scenario? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, um, you know, that's an ability that's only going to apply to three minutes out of a 16 minute ball game, you know, two to three minutes out of a 16 minute to 20 minute ball game. I'm not really big on an ability that's only gonna apply for a short portion of the game. And then you still have to do something within that short portion of the game to enter the zone. For me, it's not an ability that I would even worry about. Agile extender, uh, very similar to anchored extender. Um, these are gonna be more of the, an evasive style animation to break the DB sack. So anchored is kind of the animation where they shrug off the guy as he as he hits them. Uh, Agile is going to basically allow them to glide around uh, and not really get into that longer animation. Guys who have this ability, Russ and Deshaun, that's a big thing on Deshaun. That, that, that ability is a big, big reason players like the Texans along uh, with the fact that they had Hopkins last year. So pretty big. Jukebox, that's an ability on Lamar Jackson. You guys know that from the running backs. We don't need to go there. Uh, and long range dead eye. Long range dead eye. Passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on all deep throws while their feet are set, um, except for on high and low throws. Players with this ability, Russell Wilson. So, I mean, the guy's open and you're throwing deep. He's probably wide open. Not an ability you really need to worry about. So there it is, about 17 minutes, that's quarterbacks. Let's go ahead and get into the next position here. Uh, there's a lot to go through, a lot to digest here. Um, so let's go to running backs, their X factors and abilities. So we know these ones, first one free, freight train. Uh, new one is ankle breaker though. Truly devastating receiving threats are the ones that catch and can't be caught. When they enter the zone, they have increased fake out rates after the catch. This is big. Dumping the ball to your running back in the flat and this past year's game was very, very tough unless he had, you know, um, an ability like jukebox or, you know, spin specialist. And even then, a lot of players were still not making guys miss late in the year. Um, that Blitz 7 meta reigned supreme. You couldn't use your running back as an outlet. Uh, this year, we're going to get this ability that, again, this is an X factor. So you have to be in the zone for this. I don't know that it's necessarily something I would equip over a guaranteed broken tackle or missed tackle ability, but you're going to get increased rates. Let's go ahead and go to the abilities. Try to go through these a little bit quicker. The ones that at least we know I won't spend too much time. Arm bar, same deal there. Mixon and Henry. Balance beam. This basically never stumble. Got some abilities on Mixon, Chubb, Dalvin, Cook. That's nice. Uh, those stumbling animations can be a little bit frustrating. And uh, to never stumble is nice. Uh, right now, early on, it looks like Mixon and Chubb are definitely people you should be looking at. Bruiser. Uh, we know that one. Stiff arms and trucking animations. Chubb has it. Reach for it. This is important this year. All carriers with this ability will attempt to gain extra yards while being tackled. This is Chubb and Elliott. So right now you're seeing that Chubb is a physical back, but he also has uh, the balance beam, so he doesn't stumble. You're gonna be able to really run between the tackles with Nick Chubb, uh, fall forward and reach for extra yards. I could see Nick Chubb on that stack alone being really powerful this year in Madden 21. Leapfrog, we know that one. That's the hurdle ability. Ener Energizer. All carriers with this ability will re replenish a portion of their stamina upon successfully performing a skill move. Zeke and Dalvin Cook. Evasive, we know that one. Uh, it's basically Jukes and Spins. That's Saquon and McCaffrey. Backfield mismatch. This is basically matchup nightmare for running backs. If you get a, light, uh, a tight end on a running back, running a route, they will struggle to play man coverage and they will really struggle to break up aggressive catch attempts. Um, right now, I'm basically doing a version of this offense on Twitch where I'm using two tight ends in the backfield 
running pro personnel, not really running the ball except for like short yardage scenarios. And uh, I'm throwing the ball to my two tight ends out of the backfield with matchup nightmare. And it is really, really hard to contain. Really, really tough. Um, two players that get this ability, Barkley and Kyle Juszczyk. I love that they gave this to Kyle Juszczyk. One of the biggest Swiss Army knife weapons in all of football. I love to see a fullback getting some love in this because that man is, a, is basically a, a running back, a fullback, a tight end, a wide receiver. He does a lot for the Niners. And it's good to see him get some catching abilities. Tank. This is huge. Uh, this is this is your short yardage, you know, uh, ability. Fall forward a lot, breaks, hit, stick, tackles. Fournette, Derrick Henry. I would say that's very appropriate. Backfield master. That is your abilities that uh, to give extra routes to your running backs. That's going to be Christian McCaffrey. He's going to get the Texas route. Um, you know, your ghost, your uh, your table route, and your I believe your block and release hook. Um, and they also will get better route running and improve catching against linebackers and defensive linemen. So uh, backfield master basically is gonna give you extra routes and it's going to give you better route running and catching against those linebackers. Playmaker, abilities with this uh, ability are granted immediate and precise reactions to playmaker inputs. So you guys know the deal, QB playmaker, this is individual pertinent to the running back. So, uh, you know, you're gonna have the ability to send McCaffrey out of the backfield on Texas routes uh, and playmaker him back or, you know, playmaker him over the middle. It basically gives you real live time option route ability you can read the leverage of the coverage and playmaker him out of the the backfield on his route to the open it's basically turning it into an option route that's really what it is second wind uh this seems like a new one players with this ability have a chance to replenish their stamina once per play when it's half depleted josh jacobs here's to see how that one goes uh josh jacobs is the first time we see his name oh here's the second time we're gonna see it bulldozer he's gonna get those trucking animations as well matchup nightmare um i don't really know the difference between matchup nightmare and backfield mismatch uh, as we go back here uh backfield mismatch running backs with this ability have better catch in traffic and route running when coming out of the backfield against linebackers and uh defensive linemen uh matchup nightmare receivers with this ability okay so this is a receiver ability applied to a running back so this will allow you to motion your running back the difference between backfield night uh mismatch and matchup nightmare is that i can motion an alvin Kamara out into the slot and he's still active to torch linebackers in coverage. Whereas if I motion a backfield mismatch into the slot, he is not. So that is the biggest difference. Running back apprentice, these are extra routes. So this is, you know, just the extra routes. Um, you know, not gonna get the extra route running. So a backfield master is gonna be a better option than a running back apprentice because you're gonna get the extra routes and the catching and route running. Closer, players with this ability have reduced zone objectives in the second half. So this is basically a version of clutch but applied to an entire half. Um, this is gonna allow you to have a, a, a bruising running back. You know what they say, you know, one, two, three yards in the first half becomes, becomes four, five, six in the second half. This is what this ability is trying to mimic. Jukebox, we know what that one is, Dalvin Cook. Nasty streak, Kyle Juszczyk. This is so big, man, I'm telling you. Kyle Juszczyk with the nasty streak, being a, a absolutely filthy run blocker and the ability to run routes and be a weapon out of the backfield or, you know, split out is a, is a uh, uh, you know, a, a wing or a not even really split out as a wing, but you know, split out in the slot. Um, you could use him a variety of ways, and he's going to be really nasty for you with that ability and the ability to run routes. Uh, I can see him being being a big time weapon. Okay, moving on. Wide receiver and tight end X factors. Uh, we know these ones. Double me, rack him up, max security. Um, when they enter zone, you're not you're not going to drop possession catches. It's that simple. Uh, yak him up. This is basically just. Um, a guaranteed broken tackle after the catch. So um, strangely enough, Kittle's really the uh, the only one who gets this. Um, so, you know, uh, if you can catch your opponent blitzing and you throw the ball into a spot where the tight end is one-on-one -on -one with somebody and there's not anyone else around, this is a big time in the zone ability. Do I see my, op uh, my opponents or competitively this being viable? No, not so much, but from a reg standpoint early in the year, that could be a big time weapon at the Madden Classic. You think about how they have Kittle who's a mismatch. Uh, we haven't even talked about Kittle yet. And we've seen what they've given in terms of respect to use check. The Niners offense is going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good, even with Jimmy Garoppolo being limited. Uh, they've got enough weapons, at least from what I can tell at the tight end and fullback positions to be a problem if you guys don't want to run a three wide receiver offense. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. This is where the abilities really start to get different this year. Um, so we're going to talk about these. These are basically areas of the field that are going to get improved um, catching. So we're no longer going to see the days of post flag elite where posts and corners are just going to constantly 
catch the football no matter who's around. Um, this is going to be important. So, uh, you know, your receivers and your scheme are going to have to revolve around areas of the field in which your player is effective at their route running and catching. So short and elite obviously makes sense. Receivers with this ability catch more consistently while catching passes less than 10 yards from the line of scrimmage inside the numbers. So take a look at where the numbers are on the field. 10 yards, there's your box. Any throw breaking to the inside in between those numbers, you're going to be able to make those throws. Super important. Um, now, I don't really know if this means that you could throw a compression out route to these guys and still have that catch ability. That's where your mind should be, though, from a labbing standpoint. This ability says short in elite. But who's to say that a, a quick route breaking outside but still inside the numbers doesn't activate that ability? That is where you will need to lab this game. Mid in elite. This is from 10 to 20 yards inside the numbers. Uh, you can see the players with that. Sutton, Evans, Hopkins, Ertz, Edelman. Uh, for the short in elite, it was Hopkins, Kittle, and Thomas. Uh, so you can see that Hopkins is basically a nightmare in between the numbers so far. Deep in elite. 20 plus yards inside the numbers. That's Diggs. Short out elite. That's going to be 10 yards outside the numbers. Hill, Kittle, Moore, Michael Thomas. Mid out elite. 10 to 20 yards outside the numbers. Allen, Julio, Galladay, DJ Moore, Adam Thielen. Deep out, 20 plus yards outside the numbers. Allen Robinson, like Mitch Trubisky, can get the ball 20 yards downfield outside the numbers. I have to say that as a Bear fan, it just irritates me. <laughs> but Allen Robinson gets some love there. Mike Evans, Travis Kelsey, T.Y. Hilton, and Amari Cooper. All right, so you see that these are now broken down. It's no longer post-flag. It's, it's literally areas of the field. Outside of Prentice, these are, you know, your flanker and split ends all the way out wide. These are going to get extra routes robinson that's nice to know keenan allen amari cooper julio jones Devonte adams jukebox again a ball carrier ability Diggs, beckham tyreek grab and go it's a rack ability Diggs, beckham tyreek return man that's basically a human joystick on returns uh my man cordero patterson and andre roberts red zone threat when in the red zone receivers with this ability have chest, uh, a better chance to win contested catches and single coverage i love this ability one of my favorite abilities in the game um, I loved it in 20. Nobody used it. Um, you see one-on-one, -on -one, you throw the ball, you catch it. It's an aggressive catch guarantee darn near in the red zone if you have a one-on-one. -on -one. I loved it. Gronk is going to get it. Evans is going to get it. Hopkins is going to get it. Galladay, Devontae, Cooper Cup. I'll tell you right there as you take a look at that. You want to finish inside the red zone, the Tampa Bay Bucks are your team early on in Madden 21, I promise you. To, you're not going to be able to double-team both these guys, Gronk and Evans. Second wind. Um, basically, again, that's the Josh Jacobs ability. This is for Chris Godwin. Route technician. You're going to get high success chance when creating separation on the last cut of any route. So, you know, your double moves, that's going to get you some extra cuts. Um, you know, you basically, you create separation at the cut point of any route. T.Y., Amari Cooper, Julio, Devontae Adams, Michael Thomas. Tank, that's, that's the Gronkowski ability. Can't hit stick him. So those safeties that have huge hit power abilities... Um, you know, they're not going to be able to uh, really impact those guys at all. And that's why I'm running the offense I'm running right now. I'm running tank. So I hand the ball off to a Gronk up the middle, get, trying to get three yards. He's going to take that hit stick and fall forward. Uh, but then I also use him as a matchup out of the backfield. So that's how you guys should be thinking about your offense. Where can I create the most problems with this ability or these, this stack of abilities? How can I run this offense uh, to be confusing for my opponent to defend? Tight end apprentice. You guys know the drill there. Kelsey and Ertz, extra routes. Leaf Frog, not really something to talk about there. Route Apprentice, uh, Kittle. So uh, tight end, Kittle's going to get the extra uh, routes no matter where he is on the field. He can line up, you know, uh, tight end, slot receiver, outside receiver, fullback. He's going to get extra routes. Uh, passing abilities, uh, pass blocking abilities. You guys know these all day. Uh, it's just going to, you know, these are pass protection abilities. Uh, Mitchell Swartz, Tyron Smith, Bakhtiari, Edge Protector, Swartz, Smith, Williams, Bakhtiari, Ramchek, screen protector. Interested to see how this plays. Screens have been terrible for a long time. Um, so I'm interested to see how this plays. Well, these guys, uh, th basically to me, it reads this nasty streak on screen plays. Um, but the problem for me isn't whether or not the guys are nasty. It's whether or not they get there at all, the targeting on screen plays. So I, I don't see this ability being great, but remains to be seen. Post up, this is a double team ability. Um, you know, it's where you see that guy tack onto a double team and and basically plant the guy in the turf. Uh, you're going to see Zach Martin, Brandon Brooks, who just got hurt. 
Trent Brown, Brandon Scherf. Nasty streak, we talked about that. That's basically uh, pancake blocks um, as when playing against you know linebackers and defensive backs as a lineman or fullback. Quentin Nelson, Lane Johnson, Trent Brown. Odd spun. This is going to be new because we got pass blocking or pass rushing moves now in the game that are a little bit different. Unspun. With this ability, you can defend against spin pass rush moves um, as if they had an additional resistance point. This goes to that whole uh, memory system where defensive linemen and offensive linemen learn each other's moves and gain resistance or weakness to certain moves based off of uh, the way the game has been played. If a, a certain guy's beating you with a spin move every time, you gain resistance to that, that particular spin move. This ability unspun is going to allow you to basically have an ability that is going to not allow spin moves to beat him. Lifeguard. Abilities with this abil uh, players with this ability uh, can defend against swim and club pass rush moves as if they had an extra resistance point. So again, this is going to, it's basically going to defend against specific pass rushing moves. These guys will have specific block uh, moves that don't beat them well. Uh, tough nut. Assume that means tough nut to crack. Blockers with this ability have an increased number of blocker resistance points. So Teron Armstead. So the resistance points are super important. The more you have, the better you can defend uh, pass rush moves. So this one is going to allow Teron Armstead to be really, really powerful as a pass protector. Puller Elite. This is for uh, pull blocks, powers, counters, tosses, things like that. That's uh, DeCastro and Quentin Nelson. Matador. Boxers with this ability will defend against bull rush moves attempted by defenders. Rodney Hudson, Brandon Scherf. This is going to counteract uh, El Toro, which I'm pretty sure we're going to get into soon. Tear, uh, excuse me, tear proof. Blockers with this ability can defend rip moves. So basically, we're seeing that all of these linemen are getting abilities that counteract specific types of pass rushing moves. So if there's a meta that evolves where a bull rush lineman at a certain spot becomes the meta, now we're going to have an offensive lineman ability that you can use to counteract that specific move and force people to have to now decide, okay, well, I can't bull rush through the middle anymore. Do I want to go to maybe a guy who can uh, swim or, or rip or do something and force them to have to be tear-proof? Um, I think this is important. I think that we got into this very linear game of pass rush elite where you basically just slap pass rush elite on a guy, made sure he had you know high power or finesse, and the, the ability just ate people alive. It got to the point of being annoyed. And that's what led to running the ball so much. Um, you know, it's just, it's really, really important. So um, I, I'm interested to see how these offensive linemen abilities work. Natural talent. Players with this ability start every new blocking encounter with built-in resistance. That's extremely powerful. I don't know if you're noticing how many Eagles have abilities on this offensive line. But the Eagles might have the best offensive line in the game just from face value. You're seeing, you know... Um, Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Brandon Brooks. They're, you know, a lot of those guys' names are popping up. Uh, sorry, I skipped one. Fool me once. Um, you basically, once you get beat by a move, you gain a resistance point to that move at a faster rate. That's important. Uh, defensive X factors. This is important. We know these ones. Unstoppable force makes you a better pass rusher. Fear monger applies pressure from distance. Relentless uh, allows you to basically just continue rushing even when your resistance points are empty. Um, that's a that's a new one. Chandler Jones, Nick Bosa, TJ Watt. Guys that basically have the highest motors in the game. They never give up. Uh, just sheer willpower. And, um, you know, that's going to allow them to continue rushing the quarterback and uh, not fatigue out when the resistance points empty. Reinforcement, that's uh, your, you know, your run blocks, your hit power. Um, we, that was in the game last year. This is a new one. Avalanche. Uh, this is the hot button one. A lot of people want to talk about this one. Avalanche. There are tacklers in this game that when they enter the zone, any successful hit stick while made running towards the line of scrimmage will result in a fumble. So I have to assume that this doesn't mean that you you can just be running in the direction of the line of scrimmage. I assume that this basically means you must be running straight down, not down and slightly right or down and slightly left, but straight down. Uh, and if you make tackles just squaring guys up perfect in the line of sights, just boom, straight downhill, Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams will force a fumble. I wouldn't worry about this one, guys. This is when they're in the zone. They have to be in the zone first off to, to achieve this. So, uh, and then you have to be, you know, squared up perfectly. If allowing a click off causes players to hit stick with the regularity that we saw in Madden 20, I could see this being annoying. But I'm not terrified of this at face value. I know, I know a lot of people are worried about it, but I'm not super worried about it at face value. 
blitz effective v-line captains aren't just examples to follow they're motivators when they enter the zone all opposing blockers have their resistance bars wiped out aaron donald so when aaron donald's in the zone he's aaron donald front stuffer um this is a, again an x factor elias campbell he's gonna just in increased win rate against one-on-one -on -one run blocks so that's gonna be really really uh tough on him sorry guys i've been uh talking here for 35 minutes so let me go ahead and crack a water real quick um so next one is momentum shift let me take a drink momentum shift when they enter zone all the field opponents are knocked out of the zone we know this one um you know once you enter the zone it wipes out anybody on the other side of the ball very very simple uh shut down this is your coverage ability um you know you're gonna get more knockouts you're gonna get tighter coverage you're not gonna lose on separation of route Tredavious white tyrian matthew richard sherman Jai alexander stefan gilmore zone hawk you guys get that absolutely unreal break on ball and zone better uh you know knockout chances this one is a new one bottleneck players who have this ability when they enter the zone are likely to dominate and win any man press encounter so when jalen ramsey's in the zone play man press with him no matter what call cover two and man him up on somebody and play press it's going to take that receiver out of the play let's get into the uh the superstar abilities so this is going to be basically the counter to the offensive line abilities that we just talked about so you know if you have a swim you know a, a pass protection ability that stops swim moves that means that there's a swim move ability so we're gonna start off with swim club uh you know extra you're gonna ignore a bar of resistance when playing a swim move uh or also a club move so joey bosa tank eric armstead and jj watt edge threat we know this one edge uh, you know dominant pass rushing moves from the edge khalil vaughn miles garrett bosa demarcus lawrence nick bosa class campbell tj watt the usual suspects you know some of the best edge rushers in the game uh getting you know the ability to be dominant on the edge no outsiders this was the best run blocking run stopping ability in the game uh stop stretch uh players with this ability shed faster against stretch you know it's it, it's that simple again mac vaughn bosa donald cam jordan tj watt under pressure um basically you're applying pressure on the quarterback from a further distance you shed the blocker the play is not over you're still applying a pressure penalty that's going to be counteracted by fearless so fearless is important or gutsy scrambler if you're using a scrambling archetype those are the things that will counter under pressure uh chris jones deforest buckner demarcus lawrence fletcher cox aaron donald bogo this relates to your pass rushing currency defenders with this ability are granted free pass much pass rush moves once per play after spending a point so let's say you have one pass rush point left to give that means one pass rush move bogo means you have two it's that simple Shaq Barrett, Josh Allen, run stopper. This was in the game this year. Um, do not need to spend uh, a point on shed attempts during a run play. Calais Campbell, TJ Watt. Uh, inside stuff. Uh, again, this is an inside run, inside zone ability. Grady Jarrett, Kenny Clark, Aaron Donald, Campbell, Cameron Hayward. I'll tell you what, Calais Campbell's name's popping up a lot. And I believe what, he's with the Ravens now? Edge threat elite. This is going to be basically your pass rushing, uh, extra pass rushing ability plus extra pressure off the edge. So Chandler Jones, Zadarius Smith, Cameron Jordan, Daniel Hunter. Instant rebate. This is one that's really good. Um, when you use this ability and you successfully win on your pass rushing move, you're going to be refunded that pass rushing move back to your currency. To me, you really need to think about a stack if you're thinking mutt, you need to think about stack of some sort of move that you can do, instant rebate and BOGO. If you think about it, if you could get some sort of like uh, swim club BOGO instant rebate, you're gonna be able to do your swim move with increased efficiency, ignoring resistance, instant rebate it, and a buy one, get one if you fail the first time. That's really important to think about. Stacking those three, at least to me at face value right now, this, this little talking point in about 39 minutes in this video, for those of you that are still with me, this is where you start the year, thinking about that. El Toro, this is your bull rush ability. Talked about that earlier. You know, the guys with this ability do dominant pull ru bull rush moves uh, when, they're, when their pass rush point, points are full. So when you have a full rush bar on defense, 
You do this bull rush move, it's dominant. Miles Garrett, Chris Jones, Buckner, Cox, Jarrett, Donald, Watt. Speedster, speed rushing. So there's new, you know, the right trigger now is, is speed rushing moves. Uh, Nick Bosa, Daniel Hunter. Extra credit. Pass rushers with this ability are granted an additional maximum pass rush move point. Bosa and Daniel Hunter. We've seen Nick Bosa's name a lot on this list too. Trip specialist. Effective at stripping the football. Very, very simple. Unpredictable. Players with this ability are less likely to increase the block's resistance bars when performing shed wins. So again, Cam Hayward is looking really tough. His name's popping up quite a bit as well. Reach Elite. Players with this ability have reach out of engaged blocks, tackle or sack nearby ball carriers. We saw this last year. Dives up the middle. Nose tackle reaches his arm out when it looks like the A gap's clear. You pick up two yards instead of seven. Also, your quarterback steps up in the pocket, engaged pass rusher reaches out and basically for, performs a three-man animation where the nose tackle, the, no, the center, and the quarterback all fall to the ground together on a reach sack. Ripper, uh, this is rip moves, Geno Atkins. Goal line stuff, that's a run-stopping ability on the goal line. Secure tackler, we know. Defensive rally, this is a new one. Uh, extra bonus pass rushing points on third and fourth down. Eric Armstead. I'm scared of this one. This one scares me. I think that in Mutt, this is going to be a really toxic one late in the year. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. Adrenaline rush. Players with this will have all their pass rush move points restored after sacking the quarterback. Imagine that. Late in the year, four pass rush abilities on your edge player. Edge threat elite. Instant rebate. Bogo. Adrenaline rush. <laughs> you're gonna re you're gonna regenerate currency no matter what. When you think about it, I mean it's it's gonna get wild. It's gonna get wild. Out of my way, uh, that's going to be impact block wins against uh, wide receivers, halfbacks, and tight ends. I'd like to see them get a little bit more liberal with this one on regs. The reason I say that is because we saw wide receivers just dominating. I mean, the run game was so powerful. And from what I heard, the beta, the, running, the wide receivers run block really well too. I like to see the linebackers and, and safeties get a little bit more respect against slot receivers. There are good run blocking slot receivers, but if you're gonna if you're gonna stick Tyreek Hill out there, let's not act like Tyreek Hill is uh, is uh, putting a crack block on on Khalil Mack, you know, on a on a stretch or whatever. Um, that's that's something I want to see. You know, I just like to see the game in general. Uh, you know, respect that a little bit more. Mr. Big Stop. Um, let's see. Defenders with this ability will start the third and fourth down with at least half of their maximum pass rush points. So it's going to be uh, regeneration on third and fourth down. Lurker. Defense with this ability can make jumping 100 degree, 180 degree interceptions while lurking a zone in a zone in the middle of the field. Okay, so I'm trying to see if there's any tweaks to this. 180 degrees, so half a circle while lurking a zone in the middle of the field. I'm curious to see if this is going to get the super jump animations um, that we've been seeing all year. Um, you know, we've seen lurker pick off throws from, you know, 10 yards underneath the route. I don't want it to be that drastic, but we also see what happens when you don't have lurker where guys don't animate at all. There's got to be a sweet spot in between that they can find with this ability where it doesn't feel overpowered, but it does feel better than what you get without the ability. Um, so I'll keep my eye on this one for sure. Outmatched defenders with this ability are highly likely to win contested catches against running backs. Players who have this ability are Fred Warner. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is important, you know, so Fred Warner in, in coverage, he's he's going to be a dominant player. I mean, that's that's really, really good. Um, you know, you throw at Fred Warner, he's a player that can make you pay. I'd like to see more zone linebackers uh, or even man coverage linebackers get respect to this ability. Um, linebackers didn't animate in Madden 20. So I'd like to see maybe this one get a little bit more love. Tackle Supreme, we know short. Uh, so here we go. Here's your here's your zone coverage and your man coverage abilities. Um, you know, short route knockout. This is going to be. Basically, uh, forcing catch tackle knock uh, tackle knockouts in man to man versus routes shorter than ten yards from the line of scrimmage. So within ten yards, you know you're going to play really really tight man coverage. Harris, Tyron Matthew, Jair, Marlon Humphrey. Medium is ten to twenty. Micah Hyde and Justin Simmons. Deep is going to be uh, twenty plus. That's going to be Darius Slay, Jair Alexander, Marlon Humphrey. Humphrey looks good. He's good short and deep in man coverage. That's huge. Uh, so you can really only beat Marlon Humphrey medium routes. Uh, flat zone. So these are, these are your zone coverage ones. So, um, you know, less than 10 yards. 
um, you're going to be able to make those those knockouts. Um, so, you know, uh, to me, I feel like you're going to see a flat zone knockout ability and then your flat zone set to a depth of maybe 12 yards, 12 to 15 yards. So that way you drop underneath a corner and rally down. I know that you're not you're not going to make the impact at 15 yards or 12 yards. You're going to be making it inside, you know, that 10 yard mark. So you see with those those spot drop zones, you can start to mix up how deep you want them to drop and how effective based off of how quickly they can break on certain throws with that ability. You might set and fine tune your your zone drops to cater to the abilities on the field. This is where you're going to start to mix in those new coaching adjustments with these new abilities and create some different defensive metas this year. Mid zone knockout. Um, these are going to be your 10 to 20 yards. So, um, you know, midfield zone coverage. So, um, you know, these are going to be middle of the field. So I'm guessing your hook curl tier. Uh, you see a lot of guys that are, you know, Levante David, a coverage linebacker, Buda Baker, Fred Warner. So Warner's got some man coverage contesting. Uh, he's basically going to be able to pick off throws and man coverage, and he's going to play a good zone over the middle too. Eric Kendricks as well. Deep in zone knockout, 20 plus yards inside the numbers. These are going to be your middle thirds and, and inside quarter zones for safeties. Uh, Justin Simmons, Devin McCourty, Earl Thomas, Kevin Byard. Deep out zone knockout. These are going to be your outside thirds and outside quarter zones. Uh, Tredavious White, Richard Sherman. Acrobat, we know what this is. Diving range, pass breakups and interceptions. One step ahead. Uh, this is basically going to be a, a lockdown man coverage ability. Gilmore and Ramsey. Pick artist, you know, it's just catching, catching picks. You know, we still have to, we're still paying for catching picks from ability standpoint. Why can't we just catch picks? I don't know. We have to have an ability. Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Stephon Gilmore, Devin McCourty, Micah Fitzpatrick, Kevin Byard. Uh, but they also have unlimited stamina on uh, returns. So that's, that's also important. You know, they get, they're really, really fast. Um, you know, and they're also going to break a tackle too more often than not. And then they'll start to lose stamina. Bench press. Defenders with this ability apply a bonus fatigue to their main coverage target after a successful press win. This is important when, uh, you know, game is late. Guys might be fatigued on the fifth or sixth play of a drive with some pace to it. You know, you catch them huffing and puffing. You know, that's the time where Jalen Ramsey is going to go into to lockdown mode in main coverage and just press them out of the game. Um, that's really, really important. Chuck out. Um Basically, zone chucks. You know, you're going to see dominant zone chuck wins. A lot of those zone chucks were pre-canned, especially Madden 20. Every single zone in the game uh, basically gave up the sideline. Every, every single Bob Flat defender basically gave up the sideline this year. Uh, if you ran an outside fade, the guy would find the, the outside release. Hopefully, these chuck outs will allow them to really dominate and shove them inside and make the job on the safety easier to get to the sideline. Be really nice. Uh, Stonewall. Abilities with this, uh, you know, these are going to be no extra yards after contact is basically what this means. Uh, Buda Baker, Jamal Adams, Earl Thomas, Harrison Smith. Tip drill, we know, make a Fitzpatrick, unfakeable, uh, can't be faked out by ball carrier moves uh, and cannot be faked out when user controlled. So AI will be rarely faked out, user will not be faked out. Derwin James, Devin McCourty. Lumberjack, these are cut stick fumbles. Derwin James, enforcer, we know this one. Uh, they don't allow broken tackles when hit sticking ball carriers, regardless of the runner's size or power. Um, so guarantees the hit stick animation doesn't, you know, in, it, no mention of an increased fumble chance here. I wonder if that, that was purposeful. Um, I'm curious to see what they've done with Enforcer this year. And last but not least, we've got, um, you know, our Madden 21 punter and kicker superstar abilities, focus and clutch. Uh, and then, of course, the abilities right now that nobody has. High low dead eye. Um, I'd like to see this. Let's get somebody with high low dead eye. This is we need, I need to be able to throw uh, high and low points with accuracy. You know, that, that's something I would consider doing if I, you know, besides bazooka, run and gun. Uh, basically, a combination of mobility and aggressiveness, making big plays. Then, or a zone at perfect accuracy on the run. So, base. I don't really know, understand this one. Uh, we already have dashing dead eye. Um, yeah, I don't see. I don't really see a need for this one. I, I don't know unless there's something we're missing. Brick wall, uh, pocket passers, guaranteed to break the first sack by any blitzing defender. That's nice. That's better than anchored or agile because that only applies to defensive backs. Imagine those blitz metas. You can get in the zone. Now maybe you invite the blitz. You let that guy come in free. 
send four or five out, break the first sack, and then hopefully get your user lacking because they think they got themselves a free sack. Can't tell you how many times I've given up on a play usering when I get a sack and the guy breaks it, and then all of a sudden I give up a wide open touchdown. Omaha, looks like nobody has that ability. That's very telling. Uh, so no, no field art for the offense right now. Mossed, that's nice. Don't want anybody with a 55-yard. We, we basically played a year in Moss. I'm good with that. Wrecking ball, nobody has that. Uh, grab and smash. When they enter zone, they can have an increased chance of stiff arm and truck attempts following the catch. That's big. I'd like to see that on, you know, like a, a Gronk or, uh, you know, somebody like that. Vanguard. Um, let's see. When these players enter the zone, they're nearly guaranteed dominant impact block wins. So maybe that's going to be like your um, your running back is in the zone. You could start to call maybe run, uh, plays like Wham that use impact block rating or or toss sweeps where you get pulling linemen um, and that's going to use the impact block rating. Uh, selfless. Uh, basically, all players in the zone. I think Patrick Tillman, Pat Tillman had that. Universal coverage, that was man and zone. Um, nobody has that currently. And then, uh, of course, superstar abilities that no player currently has. Homer. Uh, protected. Human joystick. So those are three. And one thing that we definitely have to mention here, 51 minutes in the video. No film study. No film study. We finished the year with no film study. That is so big. Um, I'm going to switch over here real quick to another scene. I think it's really, really important to know that the feedback that we gave this year as a community on the field, on the film study, that was listened to. You don't often see EA come out and make a change before the game drops based off of beta feedback. Usually that's stuff that goes into the second or the third patch. Of course, this wasn't something that needed to be patched. This was something they could do from a, I guess, a server setting side with a roster file. But that's so big to know that they are out there listening to us when we say, hey, this is bad for the game. Um, so I just want to say kudos to EA. And I want to say thank you to you guys for making it through 52 minutes of breaking down what these abilities are, what they do, who has them, and how you should think about them. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later with our next Madden 20 tip or Madden 21 update. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.